aqua blue water. Mm -hmm. The sand is almost pink. Mm -hmm. And there aren't a lot of shells. Maybe coral. It's coral reef. And there's palm trees. And there's birds. They're singing. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. And the sun is warm, but not hot. And there's just a little bit of a surf. So it's not too loud. You can still hear the birds. It's a beautiful place. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So as you're listening and enjoying that view, do you feel you have a body this, in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where do you feel you are? Uh, I, I feel like a young girl. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. What do you see? A barefoot. Mm -hmm. What color are your feet? Um, brown. Mm -hmm. Tan brown. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What else do you look like? My hair is, is long, it's dark. I, my eyes are dark. Mm -hmm. And I have on very loose loose clothing, like a, a natural fiber. Mm -hmm. it's, it's light, though, in color and, and tex texture. And I, I can hear laughing. Mm -hmm. I, I hear laughter. Let's find out who's laughing. Let's follow this laughter and see who's there. Um, there there's a... I'm, I'm looking... I'm, I'm, a, I'm above the coast. Mm -hmm. But I can see it all below me. But the, la the laughter's coming from behind me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's behind you. I, I don't... I don't see it any, mm -hmm. anyone, but I hear it. How does that laughter make you feel? It, it's happy. Mm -hmm. It's child. It's childlike. Mm -hmm. Are these children that are laughing? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Um, ten mm -hmm. or eleven. Ten. So let's find out who these others that are laughing. I'd like for you now to see yourself. With those children, oh, who are they? Uh, I'm, I'm in a in a village mm -hmm. with not not thatched roof, but little huts, mm -hmm. like open air almost huts. Um, and there's there's children playing just in an opening that's sort of surrounded by these huts. And they're just running and laughing and I, I don't I don't see any adults. We're we're free to play. Mm -hmm. We're safe. What are you doing today with these children? I'm, pl I'm playing too. Mm-hmm. What kind of game are you playing? Uh, we're we're running. It's it's almost like tag, mm -hmm. but we're just we're just laughing. We're just enjoying being young and in the sunshine. And, oh, but there's a man. Mm -hmm. Who is this? There's man? a man. He he he's a leader. Mm -hmm. He's not scary. He's kind, and he's watching us. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's he's smiling. He's not laughing. But he's smiling. Mm -hmm. He's enjoying seeing us be safe and happy, and, and being children. Mm -hmm. Just happy we can be children. Wonderful. So let's see what happens next. Let's go to the next scene from that lifetime. That's important. Close this one. And be at the next one. Where are you? Above the shore. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a boat, like a like a dugout mm -hmm. canoe kind of boat. Mm -hmm. and there's two men, and they're leaving. Who are these men? You'll know. My father. Mm -hmm. And a, maybe an uncle. Mm -hmm. How do you feel as you're watching them leave? Um, worried? Mm -hmm. A little worried. Mm -hmm. but I'm not sure I understand where they're going. Or, or when they'll be back. Mm -hmm. Or why. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. What happens after this? They're not coming back. How does that make you feel? Um, it's sad. It, it frightened. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't understand where, where they, why they had to go or where they went. Don't, I don't know why. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't know why they left. So let's find out who it is that you live with now. Close the scene, and now go to the place that you live. I'm, I'm back in that clearing with the huts. Mm -hmm. Who do you live with? My mother. Mm -hmm. And I have a sister. She younger. I live, I live with my mother, mm -hmm. and maybe, maybe some other relatives, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Now as you look at your mother and sister, we can always recognize souls that we've known before. If you look into their eyes, you can perhaps see someone in the life of Jade. Do you recognize these souls? Um, yeah, the the mother maybe, maybe Rose. Mm hmm Is she maybe Rose? Very good. So now, let's close the scene and let's go to another significant event in that same lifetime, something that impacted your life. Be there now. I'm married. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. He's handsome. He's brave. He loves me. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good we have our own hut. We, we, we haven't been married very long. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's smart. And he's a good fisherman. Mm-hmm. Take a look at him and see if you recognize his soul. Does he seem familiar to you? No. No. Okay. No. But you seem very happy. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Good. It's, 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 it's good. Mm-hmm. Now let's leave that scene and let's go to a significant time in that same lifetime when you're doing something that you would normally do now as an adult in that village. I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. Making a meal. Mm -hmm. Where do you make this meal? I, where do I make this meal? Mm -hmm. Take a look around. Uh, I'm, 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 in, I'm in my hut. Mm -hmm. uh, the meal is, is all... Uh, uh, fruits and, and vegetables and, and there's fish, but I didn't cook the fish in the hut. Cook the fish outside on the fire, mm -hmm. but inside there's a table, um, and the, the knives are kind of crude. 
What are they made out of? Um, they're they're metal, mm -hmm. um, but the handle is not. Um, there's there's not any wood. There's not a separate handle to it. It's just all metal. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm preparing the the fruit and like um, vet vegetables, but I don't know what they mm -hmm. really are. Do you cook your vegetables? No, no. This is all. We're just eating this raw. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, no place to cook in the hut. Mm -hmm. that, is, that's done on the fire outside. Is there anybody else in your family there? No, I, I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. But but I'm happy. Good. Um, not lonely there. I. But it's just me. Mm -hmm. I, I can hear other people around outdoors and things, so I'm not alone, but I'm, I'm by myself in the hut. Mm -hmm. So you live independently from the others? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Does that make you feel good, knowing that you have your own place? I, I, it does, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. So is there anything else significant from this scene that's important? Um, good. So let's close yeah. it, and now let's move forward in your life. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Let's see what's happening. I'm on the beach. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm old. It's, it's hard to walk in the sand mm -hmm. because I don't, I don't feel steady. But I want to be there. Mm -hmm. I, I want to be there. What's the significance of you being here on your last day? It's the place I love. Mm -hmm. It's it's the water, the sand, and the air. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself, or are there others with you? I'm by myself. So let's see what happens. How do you choose to be at the last moment? I just sit down. <coughs> mm -hmm. I just sit down. So let's see what happens to your soul. Take your last breath there and allow your soul to leave that body. And tell me what you see now. I see a light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? The light, the light is, is, is bright. It's, it's goldy white light. White. Gold light. White. Very bright. Mm hmm what do you do with this light? I, I want that light. Mm -hmm. I go, go towards that light. Fast. Fast. Mm -hmm. And as you go towards that light, do you think about your old life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To, to enjoy what was given. It was simple, mm -hmm. but it was beautiful. Did you learn anything from that life? I learned to appreciate the things that we have, that, that the earth can give us our food and our water and our beauty and our music and the birds. And each other. Mm -hmm. It was a good life. It was a good life. Mm -hmm. So let's Very. See, let's see what happens after this life. Where do you go? There's columns. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Stairs. Mm -hmm. How many stairs do you see? A lot. A lot of stairs. Mm -hmm. Like up. Where do they lead to? I don't know. Let's find out. There's... It's like a veranda. Mm -hmm. Like oh, open air. Mm -hmm. Veranda. What's there? What do you see from there? I see a book. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of books. 
But there's a there's a book on a table. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? Oh, uh, like a like a leather bound book. Mm-hmm. It's not that big. Mm-hmm. It's like a regular size book. It's leather bound. Kind kind of. Does it have anything on the outside of it besides just the leather? Does it say anything? No. Mm-hmm. What's inside of this book? There's pictures. Mm-hmm. Like sketches. Mm-hmm. What do you see? I see, I see sketches of pe- people. Mm-hmm. They're not like photographs. They're like sketches. Mm-hmm. They're not colorful. Who are these people in this book? Oh, I'm not sure. They they look. They're they're. What I'll do is I'm going to count from three down to one. When I get to number one, you'll be able to access all of that information effortlessly. Three, two, and one. These are ancestors. Mm -hmm. These are ancestors. My ancestors. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who they are. You'll know them when you see them. You'll know that what they mean to you and why they're being shown to you. Which is the first one that you see? The first one that I see is a woman. Mm -hmm. Who is this woman? This woman is a maybe a grandmother Mm -hmm. type to me. Um, She looks. Not that old. Like, not not old. Mm -hmm. She looks like 60s, Mm -hmm. you know, not grandmotherly, grandmotherly. Mm -hmm. And And she's beautiful. So let's find out what that picture means to you. I would just see this lady here. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't see her. Connect with your soul to this book. You'll be able to get the answers. You'll know. Why is Jade seeing this picture? Is she, she's a guide? Mm Mm-hmm. What is this guide's name? Layla? Mm-hmm. Leela? Mm-hmm. Ooh, almost. Mm-hmm. La- Layla. Layla? Layla. So, what kind of a guide is this? Uh, is she Jade's guide? She's my guide. Mm-hmm. She's my guide. She's, she's there. She's there when I doubt. Mm-hmm. So, what does Layla want to say today to Jade about doubting? She... She wants me to believe mm-hmm. that when I, she wants me to believe that when, that when I know something, I go with it. Mm-hmm. That I don't discount it. Mm-hmm. Because Sometimes I discount things, my feelings, mm-hmm. my gut, but to trust my gut mm-hmm. and don't doubt what I know is true. And how is Jay doing with, with this? She's getting better. Mm-hmm. She's been working on it. Yes. She's been working on it a lot. Mm-hmm. Is there any message that you would like to give Jade? 
keep working. Mm -hmm. Keep trusting yourself. You have you have everything you need. Good. You have everything you need. Wonderful. Are there any others in that book that Jade needs to know about? Not right now. Very good. So let's find out. Allow Layla now to take you to the next significant lifetime or memory that will help you find what your life's purpose was all about in the lifetime of Jade. Be there now. Taking care of a child. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. This child, it's a little boy. His blonde hair. He's about Who is this two one? or three. I think he's a grandson. Mm -hmm. oh, I think he's a grandson. I adore him. Mm -hmm. Let's find out a little bit about this boy. Take a look inside his eyes and see if you recognize this boy in the life uh, of Jade. I do. Mm -hmm. so let's find out what the significance is of this lifetime. I'd like for you to go deeper into it. And let's see what you're doing in that lifetime. I'm playing with this little boy. Mm -hmm. And I think he lives with me. He's He lives with me. What happened to his parents? They, they live here too. Mm-hmm. They live here too, but I take care of him. They're not... No. The mother lives here. Mm -hmm. And what relations is the mother to you? She's my niece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's my niece. This is her, her boy. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about this. What else do you receive from this? She was hurt. Mm -hmm. What happened? She, she was hurt. She's young. Mm -hmm. What hurt her? The man. Mm -hmm. The man hurt her. He scared her and he hurt her. He raped her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then she came to me. She's with me. Mm -hmm. I'll keep her safe and I'll love this boy. We'll love this boy. Wonderful. We'll love him. He'll be good. So let's find out what happens next in this lifetime. Close this scene, and now let's go to the next significant scene in that same lifetime. What's happening? My, my niece is getting married. Mm -hmm. And I'm worried. Tell me why. I'm worried. I'm worried that this isn't good for the boy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm worried that he will not be treated well. But there's not anything I can do about that. Mm -hmm. I can't. Um, I, I, I'm sad that they're leaving. But I'm worried that he's not going to be treated well. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy that she has a chance at happiness that wasn't expected mm -hmm. with the child. Good. So I'm, ho I'm hopeful, but I'm worried. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. I'd like for you to fast forward to the next significant scene in that lifetime. What's happening? There's more children. Mm. 
She's had more children. It's working out. It's good. This is okay. Wonderful. This, this is good. And I spent a lot of time with, with them. But, but I'm, but I'm alone. Mm-hmm. In, in, in my home. How does that feel? Uh, it's, it's a little bit lonely. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Very good. It's okay. So close that scene now, and now let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Where are you? I'm at home. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm more. In, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in bed. Mm-hmm. My niece is there. My niece is with me. Mm-hmm. What else do you see there? I I, I see the boy, but he's a man. Mm-hmm. He's he's he a young man, mm-hmm. uh, even middle middle aged man. He's grown. He's and I'm tired. Mm-hmm. And as you look at your family, how do you feel about your life? It was a, it was a good life. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like, um, I, f- I feel grateful that they shared theirs with me mm-hmm. because I was alone. Good. Very good. So let's now take your last breath in that lifetime. Leaving that body behind, and as you do, you will see the purpose and lessons from that life. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To learn that I could love and be loved and be part of a family Mm -hmm. that isn't necessarily an immediate family. Mm -hmm. I could love a child that is it not mine? And be loved mm-hmm. in you, that in that way. Yeah. Did you ever get married in that lifetime? No. 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 So you were able to have a child and a family, even though they weren't. Yeah. Yours. I I did. They shared with me, and I shared with them. Mm-hmm. Any lessons learned? That. I could have reached out. Mm-hmm. I put everything in that, mm. and I should have. Oh, I put, I put all of my everything into that, and I I could have had more okay. had I um, shared that more. Mm-hmm. All right, so allow your soul to leave that body, and let's see what happens after you leave it. Let's see what you see now. Where do you go? I see a cabin. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Mm -hmm. There's snow. It is bitter cold. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? We're trying to get a fire started in this cabin because it is cold, but the wood is wet. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Are you male or female? I'm a male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, I'm responsible for these people. I I got them into this mess, Mm -hmm. and now we're freezing to death. What's your role with all these people? Um, Um, they're not my family. Mm -hmm. I was, I was guiding them. Mm -hmm. Are you a guide? Yeah. I'm helping them get somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
Where is it? And it's scary. Yes. Tell me more. Where are you? I'm, I'm, I'm in the mountains. Mm -hmm. We tried to, we tried to beat a storm or we, we tried. Are you equipped for that snow? No. Mm -hmm. so no, but we found hard. the cabin. Mm -hmm. We're out. We're out of the wind, but it's cold. So we can't get a fire started. The wood is wet. What do you do next? We just huddle. Mm -hmm. We we just huddle. People are scared, and I I I should have known not to take off. I should have known to stay put and wait. And I, I led them into this, and this is not good. Mm -hmm. This is really not good. We don't have food, and we don't have warmth. This is a disaster. What happens next? Somebody... Oh, what happened? People are crying. This is this is shivering. Mm -hmm. How many people are there? There's um. There's about eight. Mm -hmm. There's eight or nine, eight or nine of us. Mm -hmm. There's one is just a just a teenager. Mm -hmm. And how are these people dressed? Um. They're dressed. They're dressed in. Um, they have coats. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, like Oxford shoes mm -hmm. that lace up. Mm -hmm. Um. There's two women. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? They have on dresses, mm -hmm. but they have the Oxford shoes. Mm -hmm. um, but there's almost like a stockings or something mm -hmm. on their legs that they're not bare legged, mm -hmm. but they're not in pants. Mm -hmm. But they have those those heavy Oxford shoes. Mm -hmm. um, what do you imagine these people were there on the mountain doing? They're trying to get away mm -hmm. from where. Are they escaping? Yeah. And, and I thought I could help them. Mm -hmm. I thought I knew a path mm -hmm. to, to lead them away. Mm -hmm. And I got them in this mess. Oh, this is bad. Let's see what happens next. Allow yourself now to move ahead to see what happens. Where are you? Some of them were gone. Mm -hmm. Wait. Someone out on their own. I didn't know. What, what have they done? What happened? There's no way they made it. There's just no way they made it. Why would they do that? I don't know why they would do that. They didn't trust me to get them out of this. Mm -hmm. They decided to go on their own. How does that make you feel? So sad and disappointed. Mm -hmm. These are good people. Things were bad enough. So sorry I let them down. Oh. What happened now? What do you see? We're not getting out of here. We're going to freeze to death. So allow yourself to get to that last moment of your life in that lifetime. 
and tell me what happens. No. Mm -hmm. And I sleep. Mm -hmm. Leave your body and tell me what happens to your soul. As you look back at that life, I was cocky. Mm -hmm. I thought I had all the answers. I thought I knew a path and that that would happen. I would get them safely there. I didn't take the necessary precautions. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought we can do this. I can do this. That was a mistake. What lesson did you learn from that life? Oh, humility. Mm -hmm. So how uh, are you affecting now the life of Jade? She checks and double checks. Mm hmm quadruple checks. She doesn't always trust herself. Mm -hmm. When she thinks I've got this, she doubts. Mm -hmm. She doubts. So is that life influencing her? Yes. Mm -hmm. They were Jews. Mm -hmm. They were Jews. Does Jade now understand why she's so interested in the Jews? I let them tell. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. them down. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I could have done it well. I could have done it right. They could have been safe, but I was cocky. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to now continue on the journey of the soul and let's see <laughs> if you are reunited with those Jews again in between lives. Let's see who they were. Uh -huh. Who were they? They were family. Mm -hmm. Why did they choose this situation with you to all die together? They said it was their time. Mm -hmm. And that it was it, it was worth the risk to go with the winner, to go with the winner, than to be separated and die at the hands of the others. Mm -hmm. That this was the way they needed to go mm -hmm. and not at the hands of the others, at the hands of evil. Mm -hmm. This was their way. So do you need to hold on to this pain any longer? Can you forgive yourself now <clears throat> for having let them down, now knowing that it was all part of the plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sad. But you can see that these souls chose this journey, and they chose you yeah. to be the one. Yeah, mm -hmm. they did. So there's no need any longer to hold on to that self-doubting, 
the mistrust in yourself, knowing now that it was actually perfect. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So uh, let's continue the journey, and now let's meet up again with your guide, Layla. And let's see what Layla has to say about that lifetime. <laughs> she says, even though it didn't feel like it, I did okay. Mm-hmm. But my intentions were good, but I got ahead of myself. Mm-hmm that I would get ahead and not think think things through. Mm -hmm. And that there's a balance between thinking and doubting. Mm -hmm. So now that Jade understands the reason why she doubts herself so much, can we disconnect from that lifetime now knowing she did a good job? Yes. Very good. So that now she can flow with her own instinct and not doubt herself any longer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Layla, let's direct this soul now to the moment where it was selected, her new life was selected as Jade. Let's go to the planning room and find out who's helping her plan her life. There's a man there. Mm-hmm. Who is this man? They don't know. He's important. Mm-hmm. What does he look like? He looks very handsome. Mm-hmm. He. He's not older. He's very, he's very confident. He's very kind. He's kind, but he's firm. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? Go ahead and ask him. Leo. Mm -hmm. And who is Leo to you? Leo. Leo's in charge. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Leo. So what's it's, going on in this the sleep. place? Theo's a, a guide. A, mm-hmm. um, he, want, he, wants, he wants me to... Uh, he's showing me this family. Mm-hmm. My, my, my family. Mm-hmm. Um... <sighs> What do you see? He told me they need some sunshine. Mm. Mm-hmm. That it won't be a particularly hard life. It'll be a good life. But they need sunshine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so is this new lifetime as Jade, is the purpose to bring her family sunshine? Or is there a higher purpose? There's a higher purpose. Mm-hmm. What is that? What will this soul bring to planet Earth? I don't know. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Ask Leo to explain himself better. Connect with him, mind to mind, soul to soul. He says I'm going to be the thread. Mm, What does that mean? I'm going to be the thread that twines this family 
with another family. Mm-hmm. And then I am going to be the, the thread. I'm to be the thread mm-hmm. that connects these people. That, tie, that ties these people? Yes. Are these different soul groups? Or is it one soul group? Let's find out. Let's find out. These that are in her family. It's it's another soul group. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a um there's a reason there's a reason to join to expand this group Mm -hmm. there's a reason to do that and I can do that I'm I'm to be the thread Mm -hmm. so let's find out who are these players that are going to be in the life of Jade. Let's see if they volunteered to be in the life or did she select them? They selected me. Mm. I don't have to do this. But it's not hard. It's just Is this a skill that this soul has? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has she done it before in other lifetimes? Almost. Mm. Uh, What happened? Almost. Partially. So is she completing this this time around? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 There's a reason for her to be the thread so that these people have each other Mm -hmm. and they won't without her. Mm -hmm. And it has to do With sunshine? Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't know. So let's focus in on the sunshine and let's see what the sunshine is all about. Let's find out what the importance is. We talk first that she will be the sunshine for her family. As Jade, let's find out what the sunshine has to do with this other soul group. What's the importance of sunshine? She will be the warmth. Mm -hmm. She will be what they gravitate to Mm -hmm. and what they need. They they need the warmth. Mm -hmm. They and as the sun keeps things keeps the orbits Mm -hmm. and the distance Mm -hmm. and and, but things things will do the cycles they should do Mm -hmm. with. But the sun keeps them from spinning out of control. Okay. And that's, that's the, um, it's that, that's what she is. She will keep things on their proper orbit. Okay. Very good. Does she understand that? Uh, Kind of. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. She will, it, she will need to keep things, she, she's able, she will be, she's able to keep things in their proper orbit. Mm. Very good. Yeah. So as we're talking about people in her soul group, let's find if there's any contracts with any of these in this upcoming life that may give her any challenges. No. Mm-hmm. Nothing. 
nothing that she can't mm-hmm. she can't do. Are there any that are coming in that she won't feel comfortable with? Yes. That will push her buttons. Sure. Mm-hmm. For what purpose? For her backbone. Mm. What does that mean? She will need to stand up. Mm-hmm. And set boundaries mm-hmm. and limits. So is this what this person in her life is a reminder of, to set boundaries? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do they know each other from other lifetimes? No. Mm-hmm. So who chose whom? I chose him. Mm-hmm. Is there a contract? Or a choice? It's a choice. Very good. So there's no contract to break, knowing now that this was a choice. Yes. For this person to teach her how to set boundaries with others. Correct. Very good. So let's find out if there's anything else that she needs to learn before she comes to this planet. Any other challenges that she will be facing? She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Very good. Very good. She'll do a good job. Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. So either Layla or Leo... I want to go ahead and find out how her loved ones are doing. Her dad, her brother, her father-in-law. Who's here today? Jerry. Jerry. Very good. Would you allow us to speak with Jerry? Yes. Very good. I'm going to count from three down to one. When I get to number one, we'll speak with Jerry. Three, two, and one. Good evening, Jerry. Hey. What would you like to tell Jay today? <laughs> She's a good girl. Mm-hmm. She's a good girl. Now, she needs to not let him make her crazy. Mm-hmm. Jerry, do you have any tips for her now that she's trying to get into a new line of work? Uh, I taught her everything I knew. Mm-hmm. So she can take that anywhere she wants to go. She's smart. Mm-hmm. And she's a hard worker. And she just needs to settle into something she enjoys. Mm-hmm. More like an occupational hobby? Yes. Mm-hmm. Any ideas for her? Uh, she likes to mess with the plants. Mm-hmm. Good. Something with her garden. Good. So let's find out now if Jade has anything to say to you. Take a deep breath in. Jade, what would you like to tell Jerry? I love you. And I miss you. And I'll help take care of them. I'll capture Sam and Maddie because Cindy's sick. I'll help. Don't worry. And I love you. I miss you. Thank you for everything you did for me. It was a lot.
He always treated me like I was one of your own kids. And I'm grateful. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Jerry, do you have any response for her? She's a good girl. Mm-hmm. Good. Very good. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> and now, allow Jerry to go off. And is there anybody else? No. Not today. Not today. Very good. Very good. So I'd like to ask now for the higher self to give her some information. Oh. Is it okay for her to continue? Yes. Very good. So we had talked about her purpose in life. Do you have anything else to add to that now that she understands? Um. She needs to be patient. Mm -hmm. I hate to wipe my nose. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So she needs to be patient? Mm -hmm. Is she not patient enough? Not with herself. Mm -hmm. She's patient with others to mm -hmm. a fault. Why not with herself? Because she knows what she should be doing most of the time, but then uh, she gets a little stuck. Mm -hmm. Not bad stuck, but a little stuck. Now, when she gets stuck, is it because she's not allowing you to come through? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Does she let her ego get in the way? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. She does. So what advice would you like to give her about this being stuck? Trust your gut. Mm -hmm. if, it, if, it, if it sings to you, follow it. Mm -hmm. You know that. You know that feeling when something sings to you? Did you follow that? Mm -hmm. And, that's and you voice. can't go wrong. Good. Do you think that now, after she's had this session, and she's heard your voice and the difference, she'll be able to distinguish the singing voice? I hope so. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Good. Now, she wants to be able to be a positive impact on the world in this life. What can she be doing? For the greater good. By playing the role that she has mm -hmm. with her family and the family to come, mm -hmm. she will be impacting the world. Because who she touches will touch others. Mm -hmm. And she needs to understand that one can change the world. They just don't always know they've done that. They need, she, need, she needs, she needs to do the best she can with this group and it will impact the world. Mm -hmm. Now you showed her a lifetime of her taking care of her niece's son. Yes. Would this happen to be the same family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was there some unfinished business in that lifetime? Or is it the same thing over again? Why did you show her that life? It's similar. Mm -hmm. The circumstances will be much different. Okay. But it is similar. So will she be able to use the experience from that lifetime? Yes, and her? she will not be alone. Okay. Instead of feeling on the... In that lifetime, she f always felt a little bit on the outside. Mm -hmm. She was like the planets in orbit. 
Mm -hmm. um, this time, she's at the center of this, and it's her keeping the orbits mm -hmm. moving. So it's 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 the it is the flip, and it's important that she she makes sure that those that are in the orbit feel a part of things mm -hmm. as she did in that last life. Good. So do you think that by doing this session, she could understand that better now? Yes. Good. But it, it, it might take her some time. Mm -hmm. But yes. Would you continue reminding her? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now she asks about the meaningful work that she wants to do. Jerry told her about something mm. with plants. What do you recommend for her? What do you think would be meaningful? She likes to grow things. Mm -hmm. She likes... She has some really good ideas on how to enjoy growing things without a lot of space, mm -hmm. without a lot of yard, or any yard. And she gets a great deal of enjoyment out of it. Mm -hmm. And she should share this, whether it's in a blog or, or photographs. Or in, it's to uh, social messaging. Um, but it's something she enjoys greatly. And mm -hmm. she needs to think about ways to expand that mm -hmm. to other people. Did she have a past life where she did this gardening, this growing of food? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Show her a picture of that so that she can understand where she can now access that information from that lifetime. Yes. Good. Thank you so much. Yes. She had a question about Judaism now. I think she understood. Yes. Anything else that you would like to add to that question or answer? Or is she clear? She's clear. Very good. Now she tells me that when she dreams, she doesn't remember. And in meditation, she falls asleep. Ugh. How does she best remember her dreams or does she need to? She gets out of her dreams exactly what she needs. Mm -hmm. she, she needs to not worry about whether she remembers them. Okay. And why does she fall asleep during meditation? Where does she go? Does she actually sleep? Or does she click out? Sometimes she sleeps. Mm -hmm. Other times she clicks out. Mm -hmm. um, she's settling. She's... she's when she clicks out, mm -hmm. she's where she needs to go. Okay. She she doesn't need to worry about it. Meditation is not is not ever going to be her means mm -hmm. to that kind of relaxation and messaging. Where she's, does she get that? She gets that out of being around other people and working with her garden mm -hmm. and zoning out when she does those things. That's good. Good. It's not. She should still. She should still take that quiet time mm -hmm. and do it. But she shouldn't expect to get huge answers okay. from it. Okay. Good. Now, she asks about her health. Would you do a body scan on her and let's see how her health is? She wants to focus on her sinus issues. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has inflammation. Mm -hmm. What's what's causing that inflammation? She's she's holding holding on to things. Mm -hmm. Physical, or emotional, or kind. Physical and emotional. Mm. 
Let's find out why she's holding on to it. Physically, physically, she is sensitive to so many of the airborne mm -hmm. pollens, and she lives where that's difficult. Mm -hmm. And that, that's just a fact for her that the air that she breathes where she lives bothers her. Mm -hmm. And she likes to be outdoors and it makes it in the yard and in the garden and it, it complicates things mm -hmm. for her. But it doesn't need to be this bad. It's the emotional, that is, that is her soft spot. Mm -hmm. You could say, so when something is bothering her or some, she doesn't like something and she gets a physical reaction from it, it's going to be there. Uh -huh. That's where she holds things. Does she need to hold it any longer? No. All right. Can we begin to release all of that, please? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand over her chest, and I want you to go ahead and begin releasing all of these things that you've been holding on. Feel them draining down into my hand and out. Allow all of these things that have been holding on for so many years that are no longer necessary. All of those emotions, all of those experiences, all of those regrets. Let's pull them all out. We don't need to hold them any longer. And tell me when I have them all. You have them. Let's take them and send them to the universe for healing. And now what would we like to put in its place? Love. Let's put lots of love. Feel the fire hose of love as it goes in through your heart, pumping in through every cell of your body, going into the DNA, activating that love, transforming it. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. So tell me how her sinuses look now. Better. Better. Very good. Would you continue working on her sinuses? Yes. Thank you very much. What else do you see in her body? Is she okay? Or is there anything else? Her left foot? Mm -hmm. What's going on with her left foot? She, she injured her toe. Mm -hmm. um, it's... It'll heal. Okay. It'll heal. Can we begin sending some healing light to it today? Yes. What color would you like to use today? Blue. Beautiful. So go ahead and begin using the healing light on the toe. And let me know when you're done. Okay. Very good. Is there anything else in her body that we need to address today? She's good. She's good. Very good. So I have a question for you. Why did you bring her here to this session? What did you want to tell her? I wanted to tell her that she's on the right path mm -hmm. with the way that she's exploring and adjusting how she thinks about the universe, mm -hmm. its source, and her role in it. Mm -hmm. And it was important for her to meet Abba mm -hmm. so that she could get affirmation that she's on the right path. Very good. Very good. Do we she may stumble a little, but she's on a good path. Very good. So 
I'd like to continue to, um, or I'd like to ask to continue with all of the work that the higher self, Layla and Leo, are doing for her. Continue guiding her, making her her intuition sing as she listens to it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And is there anything else that I could have asked that you would like to tell her at this time? We're good. Good. Are we complete now? Yes. Thank you very much. Now, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. How do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? Good. Yeah, I feel a little swimmy. Swimmy? Let me switch these stones so you can ground yourself. Let's take this selenite. You got warm. Yeah, and let's ground you. So, how do you feel? How's your body feel? Oh, it feels good. Yeah? How's your sinuses feel? They, they feel... I don't know. You feel lighter? Yeah, everything feels lighter. Mm. I mean, I feel floaty. How long do you feel you were on this? An hour? It's about an hour and 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. You did great. What do you think about this experience? Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. Oh, so cool. <laughs> What's the most that you remember? I remember the, um, I remember the cabin. Yeah, that was the most. That was awful. Mm -hmm. That was awful, but it's okay. Now you understand why you uh -huh. have such an affinity for, for the Jews. I let them down, but I, them I realize down. we were there together for mm -hmm. a reason. Yeah. It, it was all part of the plan. It was part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but a bad plan. Yeah. But it was all about being cocky. Yeah. And now... I thought I could scale mountains mm -hmm. and blizzards. Yeah. Well, you didn't expect that blizzard. No. Yeah. And no. you chose the winter time for a reason, but you didn't expect that. No. Mm-hmm. No. So was it... But, was it but the beach was oh. wonderful. Oh, that was The really lady nice. that... When, when, when I just sat down mm -hmm. on the beach and that was it. It was good. It was real That was really, that was really... Can you do Lives Over? Because that was a really good one. <laughs> you just needed to... You just needed to that one I would redo. Mm -hmm. That was so happy. There was laughter. Was like vacation. Children laughed and... It was happy. You were, and you were being a child. You but my father left. Yeah. You kind of lost your dad. An uncle. An uncle. Or, mm -hmm. But, but it, but it was still, a good it life. was, ha it was a good life. I think you accepted it. You know, it was just, yeah, it wasn't something that it didn't rock my world right. about security. Right. I still was safe. Yeah. I, I, and you were happy. Yeah, I, mean, I was, was happy. That was a good life. Great. This one is. This is a good life too. Yeah, yeah. So, is this something you want to share, or you want to keep private? Oh, I will. I will share with anyone who could, who could benefit. Mm -hmm. You think it'll help? If, if you think it will help, I, I, I'm happy to help I anyone. I don't think there's anything there that is that private, right? No, mm -hmm. no, I don't feel like there would be anything yeah. that would not be okay to share. I would be good to share. This is this is awesome. <laughs> you did great. You did fantastic. Up those stairs. Yeah, and the book. The book with the sketches in it. Mm -hmm. And that was your guide. That's where Layla came from. That's right. Amazing. And that it wasn't big. You know you would. You know, you listen to the other videos, and the, and it's big, you you think of the book of life or the book. And it was just it was just a book. But it wasn't your book of life. No, it was, it was not. It was it was like it was not. It just it guided almost, me to her. It was like a picture album. Yeah, but sketches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like sepia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sketches, mm -hmm. not charcoaly, but. Oh, good. Oh. Let's take you off. Of okay. So here we are. We're here. So right now we're in Houston, Texas. 
We are. And Jay, where are you coming from? I came from Dallas. Uh huh. Uh, we were supposed to meet in August at Harvey. And there was a hurricane. Handled that hurricane yeah. Harvey made that impossible. And yeah. I'm really grateful that we did have this delay because I think I got some different answers that I might have being where I was at last time. It's August. always the perfect time. It was the perfect time. Yeah. So now you had said something on break here that you didn't mention about the cold. Oh, what tell, of, tell everybody. One of the questions when you make your list of questions that you want to ask your higher power or learn about, um, one of the questions that I wanted to put on there was asking about why cold is such a trigger for me. I do not like being cold. It makes everything cough and burn and mm -hmm. run, and it just, I'm not very nice when I'm cold. Get cranky? Very. Mm -hmm. um, and in my session... She didn't even have to ask. I didn't it. even have to ask. <laughs> so now you understand. I understand, and I'm letting that go. Yeah. I can no longer be cranky when it's cold, I promise. So what am I hope? It's better than... than I'm going to work on it. Yeah. So um, do you feel that this session has changed you? It's Absolutely. Yeah. This is this was an amazing opportunity to get to yeah. do this with you. I'm really grateful I was oh. led here to you. You're just a beautiful soul. Ooh, thank thank, you. thank you for thank sharing you. with us. So do you recommend this experience? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you're getting that nudge from your self... <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is an amazing experience. Thank and you, you couldn't do it with a kinder dance partner. <laughs> That's what I say. It's like a dance. It's like a dance. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page, sign up for a newsletter, and there it'll tell you where I'm going to next. I travel all around the world. I'm leaving for uh, a few weeks. Um, in February, again in March and April, and then hopefully I'll be gone for a really long time this summer. So I'm traveling more than I'm home. Yeah. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. It was short and sweet, but we got a lot out of it. I hope you did too. And I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. Thank you.